so I just want to start out and talk about the levels of what the psyche is, okay? So I'll start with the easy part, and that's the world. So here's the world out here, out there. You see it? The mountains, the buildings, me, my beard, my nose, all of you, the pictures, the smells, the tastes, the floor. It's all part of the world. It's all around us. Okay, that's the world. And when I stand here, I experience this moment in the world my way, Dorothy her way. Every one of you knows this moment in your own way. There's not one person that knows it the right way. You all know it your way, which is probably the wrong way. Okay? Doesn't mean that you're wrong. You just know it your way. Okay? Your way is 20, 50, 80 years of life's experience um, that make it your way. This moment was, has the confluence of your entire life, or if you believe in past lives, past lives. But your moment, I'm going to tell you right now, and not to offend anyone, is wrong. And if I'm wrong for saying that, then your dreams would tell you that you were right. They tell you if you're right, when you're right, they tell you when you're wrong, when you're wrong. I don't make that choice. When I tell you, Jim, that something's wrong with you because of something in the dream, it doesn't mean that you're wrong. It just means that something's wrong. And who knows when it started? And it brought you here to this day. Lost your wife, good parent, no fault of your own. You're what, 40? 40. This isn't the moment you dreamed about being at, for sure. A lot of us, our lives crash on us, or they don't, and we wish they did, because we feel like something's wrong. And some of us skate right through and then we're happy with it. I'm not saying that you can't be. But this is the world. And this line here is the underworld. What's under this line, the first layer, is called the subconscious. In other words, it's part of what you know about you. Okay, this is like what you know or what you think you know about you. It's the subconscious realm. If I ask Jim's opinion about things, he'll tell me what he thinks. That's all down here. Unfortunately, there's a lot of what Jim thinks isn't true, good and bad. And that's here too. Things he knows about and things he doesn't know about. Unfortunately, a lot of it is what he doesn't know about. That's why he's in a crisis at 40 years old. This is an opportunity, really. The quicker you have your crisis and do some work with it, the better off you are. Unfortunately, this is only the upper part. There's still a lower part. If it was just this that we were dealing with, counseling would be fine. You go in there, you dredge some things up, you do some night Im imagery, you talk about your mom and dad, and everything could be like kind of managed a little bit. You know, you could fix it up and learn how to communicate better, learn how to say, ah, oh, you know, all the, the trendy things of today, okay? So, which is related to the world. Like, the way we view the subconscious is related to the ideas of the society that we're in today. If you lived in Iraq or Iran, you would think about yourself in a different way. So it's also linked to a social, the social world and the personal world and your, fa your, fam your family, your values, things you've learned and unfortunately, the deeper stuff is down here, which we call the unconscious, not the sub, the un. And that's where all the action is. And there's no way to know that world at all. So what you experience in the subconscious world and the world, it comprises your identity of what you think you are. And that's all you get in life. Except you get the dream. How about that? Why do you get the dream? I mean, I'm not talking about what Freud says. Why do you get to dream is because 
your psyche, your soul self that's way back down here is trying to get you to make this journey. So that's why we dream. It's instructions. A therapist's job is simply to follow those instructions. And for each one of you, those instructions are different. There's not the same instructions for every one of you. So I can't sit here and create a religion or a cult or um, a self-help book because every path to yourself is different because we are so different ultimately in how we got to be the way that we are and how to go back to the way that we truly are is different for each person. Therefore, even what dreams mean are diff different. A lot of times we'll have a dream and there'll be certain images and you'll say, well, that means this, but it only means that for that person. The same image could be different for somebody else. So you can't even have a dream book that says, well, if you have a dream about cars, it means this. What a car means to you, Jim, what a car means to you, Dorothy, it could be a different thing. The same exact image could be different. So it raises big questions. How does a therapist help a client when the images and the dreams can change in meaning from one person to another? Very confusing world, this unconscious world. And then to make matters worse, in the deeper layer that Jung called the collective unconscious, is where the intentionality of the dream comes from. Like, why do you have a dream? Well, if you listen to what Carl Jung says, and what I say, you have a dream because the dream intends you to have the dream. It wants you to have it. And um, it wants you to have it because it wants you to know to take the journey. Where does intentionality come, come from? We always look at that word, we think it comes from the subconscious self. Well, some of it does. What Jim thinks about himself and the things that form him may come from there. But a deeper intentionality comes from down here in the collective unconscious. And this intent we call archetypal will. Intent. Intention. Archetypal will is the will that, that the divine has specifically for you in a dream. Now, I'm not talking about the Torah, the, the Quran, or the Bible. I'm talking about a set of intentions that is unique to each and every person. That's unique to each person. That you can't read in a book and say, this is the way you should do this, or you should do that. I can't tell you what's right for you, but I can look at your dreams and see what the dream's intent is for you to begin dealing with issues in the world and issues within your own selves. So this in, intention comes from the collective realm, which is way down from the world. It's very, 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 very deep. And the problem is, and even if you access it, even if you can get at it from the dream, and Jim's dream does have this intention, some of the material from down here is in, is in dream, Jim's dream. And one of the goals is to bring this intention up eventually into the world and it takes time to pass through the different layers which by the way are composed not only of resistance from us because we're attached to the way that we are why not we've been this way for a long time and it's scary to change who we are and what we know but what's scarier still is that you don't make that decision you think you do I think that I did but really, when you start to come against what you think, when you start to say, well, I don't really want to be the way that I am, you're going to find that there are things in you that are going to say, well, tough shit. You're going to be that way anyway. And we call that pathology, which is another will that's diametrically opposed to the archetypal will. This, this battleground is typically unknown because the pathology uses our fears and our hurts to control 